are a lot of excellent compact cars available today, all with their own strengths. What you get with the 2017 Nissan Sentry is practicality. It's roomy, fuel efficient and a solid value for your money. What's new for 2017, the Nissan Sentra gets a new performance-oriented SR Turbo model. Other tweaks include thicker glass for improved sound deadening and a significantly larger center console. Got space? If you're buying a 2017 Nissan Sentra, the answer is an emphatic yes. This compact sedan stands out in its class by virtue of its uncommonly spacious interior, with a rear seat that rivals those of many mid-sized models in terms of head and legroom. The same can be said of the Sentra's trunk, which offers nearly as much cargo capacity as those of some full-size sedans. Nissan has been hard at work boosting the Sentra's overall appeal, too. Last year's Sentra gained a more upscale look and feel to its cabin, along with a number of desirable standard features and options that make this affordable sedan seem less like a car you'd settle for and more like a car you'd actually want to drive. For 2017, the most notable upgrade is the new SR Turbo. Fitted with the 188 horsepower turbocharged 1.6 liter engine from the Nissan Duke crossover, it should liven things up quite a bit, as will its sport tune suspension, reworked steering and upgraded front brakes. In short, there's a lot to like about the Sentra, especially considering its favorable pricing. But it's still a good idea to check out some other small sedans. One of our top choices this year is the Honda Civic which has comparable turbocharged performance and interior room and is a little more stylish and fuel efficient than the Sentra. If you want a sedan that's more refined and packed with more of the latest tech, check out the Mazda 3. We also recommend the Kia Forte if you're mostly after a sensible sedan that packs in a lot of features for your money. Trim levels and features The 2017 Nissan Sentra is a 5-passenger compact sedan offered in S, SV, SR, SR Turbo and SL trim levels. The base Sentra S comes with 16-inch steel wheels, automatic headlights, remote keyless entry, air conditioning, a height-adjustable driver's seat, 60-40 split folding rear seat backs, a tilt and telescoping steering column, cruise control, Bluetooth phone connectivity and a four-speaker sound system with a CD player, a USB port and an auxiliary audio input jack. Stepping up to the SV gets you keyless entry and ignition, upgraded cloth upholstery, a leather-wrapped steering wheel a 5-inch driver information screen in the instrument cluster, a 5-inch central touch screen, a rear-view camera, Nissan Connect, Bluetooth audio connectivity and a 6-speaker sound system with satellite radio. The SR gets 17-inch alloy wheels, rear disc brakes, a sport body kit including a rear spoiler, LED headlights, low beams, fog lights, heated mirrors, upgraded cloth upholstery and heated front seats. The SR Turbo adds a more powerful engine a sport chin suspension, recalibrated steering, upgraded front brakes and a sunroof. Both the SR and SR Turbo are available with the Midnight Edition package, which adds black 17-inch wheels, black mirror caps and a black spoiler, as well as special floor mats. The top-of-the-line SL loses the SI's sport-themed flourishes but adds unique 17-inch alloy wheels plus the rear disc brakes, dual-zone automatic climate control, leather upholstery, a six-way power driver's seat with power lumbar adjustment, an auto-dimming rearview mirror and a larger 5.8-inch touch screen with navigation and voice controls. A blind spot monitoring system with rear cross-path alert is also standard. The all-weather package, SV only, includes heated front seats and heated outside mirrors. The style package, SV only, adds distinctive 16-inch alloy wheels, a sunroof, illuminated vanity mirrors and LED interior lighting. The SR Premium Technology Package starts with the contents of the style package then tacks on the leather upholstery, power driver seat, auto dimming mirror and bigger touch screen with navigation from the SL. You also get adaptive cruise control with automatic emergency braking, blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert and an 8 speaker Bose audio system. The SR Turbo Premium Package includes these same features. The SL Premium Technology Package adds the contents of the style package minus the 16-inch wheels, plus adaptive cruise control with autonomous emergency braking and the 8-speaker Bose audio system. Performance and MPG The 2017 Nissan Sentra comes equipped with one of two engines. A 1.8-litre four-cylinder engine rated at 130 horsepower and 128 pound-feet of torque is standard on the S, SV, SR and SL models. A six-speed manual transmission is standard on the S, and a continuously variable automatic transmission, CVT, 
is optional on that model and standard on all other Sentras. In testing, a Sentra SL accelerated from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 10.1 seconds, which is among the slowest times for this class of car. The new SR Turbo gets a turbocharged 1.6-litre four-cylinder, which puts out 188 horsepower and 177 pounds to feet, made it to a choice of a six-speed manual or a specially calibrated CVT with manual shift mode. The EPA fuel economy estimates with the six-speed manual transmission are 30 miles per gallon combined, 27 city slash 35 highway. Opting for the CVT ups fuel economy to 32 miles per gallon combined, 29 city slash 37 highway. The new SR Turbo is rated at 28 miles per gallon combined, 26 city slash 32 highway, with the 6 speed manual gearbox and 29 miles per gallon combined, 27 city slash 33 highway, with the CVT. These numbers are okay, but some rivals squeeze out a few more MPG. Safety The 2017 Nissan Sentra comes standard with anti lock brakes, stability control, front seat side airbags, and side curtain airbags. A rear view camera is standard starting at the SV trim level. The SR and SL trim levels can also be had with blind spot monitoring with rear cross traffic alert, standard on SL, and adaptive cruise control with automatic emergency braking. More basic Sentra models come with rear drum brakes, but rear disc brakes are standard on the SR and SL. However, in brake testing, a Sentra with the less costly rear drum brakes stopped from 60 miles per hour in 118 feet a slightly better than average distance for the segment. A Sentra SL stopped in 113 feet, which is almost unheard of for a compact economy sedan. In government crash tests, the 2017 Sentra earned an overall rating of 4 stars, out of a possible 5, with 4 stars for front impact protection and 5 stars for side impact protection. The Insurance Institute for Highway Safety awarded the 2017 Sentra its best rating of good in its moderate overlap and small overlap front impact tests. The Sentra also earned a good rating in the side impact, roof strength and seat, head restraint, whiplash protection, tests as well as a superior rating for the effectiveness of its optional forward collision mitigation system. Interior The 2017 Nissan Sentra offers an interior that's bigger than seems possible when viewed from the outside. Both front and rear seats offer excellent headroom and legroom, even for six-footers. The cabin's design is nothing fancy, but the quality of both materials and construction is good. Other noteworthy strengths include Nissan Connect, a system that allows the driver to take advantage of smartphone-based apps such as Google Search using the available 5.8-inch touchscreen. The touchscreen simple menus make it easy to use, but there's no denying that it's one of the smallest screens in its class and the resolution of its graphics is underwhelming. The Sentra's trunk is spacious, with 15.1 cubic feet of stowage. Folding down one or both sections of the 60-40 split rear seat backs expands cargo capacity further. Driving on the road, the 2017 Nissan Sentra suspension delivers a comfortable ride around town and on the highway. It's not a particularly engaging car to drive, though opting for the sportier SR Turbo model this year should push handling steering feel and brake performance up a couple of notches. It's unknown whether the car's firmer suspension tuning and ride quality will be a turn-off for some buyers. We'll update this review once we've tested the new SR Turbo. On the performance front, the standard 130 horsepower four-cylinder is suitable for everyday driving, but nothing more. Trying a highway pass or hitting the gas from a standstill results in lethargic acceleration. The CVT is a good match for this engine, at least largely because it seems free of the tiresome rubber band and droning qualities that so often plague this type of transmission.